My name is Axel Linke. I'm a medical doctor and professor of interventional cardiology at the University of Leipzig in Leipzig, Germany. We know from clinical studies that about 10% of patients undergoing transcatheter valve replacement experience a stroke afterwards. Those strokes are due to the erosion of material from the aorta or the calcified valve uh, during the TOVR procedure. There have been devices developed, so-called protection devices, that are intending to uh, filter the embolic material from the bloodstream. However, the efficacy of those devices has never been tested in the past. Our objective was to understand of whether those devices are really reducing the amount of brain damage as a result of TOVR. We required 100 patients being randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion to TOVR with embolic protection versus TOVR without embolic protection. Using the embolic protection device is reducing the number of lesions as determined at two days and seven days after the TOVR by 50%. In addition, the total volume of dead brain tissue was again reduced by 50% at two days after TOVR and also at the seven day MRI follow up. We conclude that using the embolic protection device during TOVR is reducing the number and volume of brain lesions as a result of the intervention. Given that the size of brain infrox is related to neurocognitive and long-term neurological function, we are believing that in bigger studies it might be possible to prove that using the embolic protection device not only reduces the, the amount of dead brain tissue but also might result in a better neurological outcome. The next step was a randomized multi-center trial. This trial has been conducted in the US and Germany as a part of the FDA approval process. More than 300 people undergoing TOVR were randomized and the treatment of those patients has been completed. The results of this trial are expected to be presented at one of the major congresses before the end of the year.